Hello Audioholics, today we are taking a look at the Triton 7 speaker from the folks at Golden Ear. The Triton 7 is Golden Ear's least expensive tower speaker, just a shade under $700. And certainly I was given the option to review the flagship Triton 1 speakers, the newly released Triton 2 Plus and 3 Plus speakers, but as you know I have a real soft spot in my heart for these low barrier of entry, more entry level products. And so I wanted to hear what Golden Ear could do on a budget and that's what we have here with the Triton 7. In addition to being their least expensive speaker, it's also their smallest tower speaker, which isn't to say that it's as small as some of the compact towers that I've seen out there. It's still almost 40 inches tall. It's still a little over 7 inches wide at its widest point. It does have kind of angled sides, so a little more narrow in the front, again giving it the, the, uh, the appearance of being a little bit slimmer than it is. And it's about 11 inches deep at the main speaker part. Base is a little bit larger all the way around. One of the things that makes it seem a little bit smaller than it is is the rather nondescript appearance. You might notice that it's wrapped entirely in black speaker cloth. It's kind of a nylon sock that pulls up and cinches at the top underneath the black plastic cap on top. And so you could go up there, take the cap off, pull it down. I did just so I could get a little bit of video, but it's not really designed to do that. So I know you like to poke and prod at your speakers, but this is not a speaker. You'll be taking the speaker grill off and on a lot. And it's not designed to be shown uh, with the grill off. You want to leave that sock on there. However, if you were to take that sock down, what you would see is a single AMT tweeter. They call it the high velocity folded ribbon tweeter. And on either side of that, you're going to find a pair of uh, five and one quarter inch drivers, one at the top, one at the bottom. And those are mid base drivers and they do have a cast basket. So what you're getting is good DNA. In fact, that tweeter that I talked about, that's the same tweeter that they use all the way up to the flagship Triton One speaker. So again, the best DNA that Golden Ear has to offer. Now those are coupled with a, a pair of uh, passive radiators, eight inch passive radiators at the bottom. And so that puts the design of the speaker in terms of response somewhere between a ported and a sealed design. It's going to have some of the extended frequency response of a ported speaker, but it's going to have a more gradual smooth drop off towards the bottom of that frequency range like a sealed speaker would. And let's talk a little bit more about the sound. So two words that I would use to describe the sound of the Triton 7 speaker is spacious and smooth. And when I talk about spaciousness, what I'm talking about is you could take this speaker, put it almost anywhere in the room, and I did. I tried the corner, I tried the ideal sort of equilateral listening triangle for uh, stereo, uh, ideal stereo separation. I tried it where it was a lot more narrow, a lot closer together, almost like if you were flanking the sides of a television screen, trying to tuck it in as much as possible to conserve your floor space. And no matter where I put the speaker, what I was getting was a big, broad, open sound stage. What that is usually indicative of is a speaker with good off access frequency response. In other words, you're getting a nice full range sound from the highs to the lows all the way up to multiple degrees off the main axis of the speaker. It makes them super easy to place, casts a huge image, and is going to give you a lot of enjoyment out of your quality sound regardless of where you're able to place these speakers in your room. The second word that I use to describe these, smooth, especially in the high frequency response. Now I've heard some other people say that they are hearing the Triton series speakers and they're sounding maybe a little bit more accentuated in high frequencies than they're used to. I guess maybe my ears are tuned a little bit differently. In fact, my reference speakers I picked because they were pronounced in the amount of detail, the high frequency detail that they gave, again, with a ribbon tweeter. I'm hearing similar things with the Golden Ear Triton 7s. I don't find it grating. In fact, they are uh, rated up to 35 kilohertz. Now it's an in-room non-anechoic response. And so what that means is that you're getting a nice, even extended high frequency response. And I did not find it grating or jarring at all. Again, I found it very smooth. I found it very easy to listen to for hours and hours without getting a lot of fatigue. On the other end of the spectrum, at the low frequency, again remember we've got the passive radiators extending the bass frequency a little bit. Even though these are Golden Ear's smallest speakers, what I found is although the bass wasn't super powerful, uh, thump you in the chest, punchy bass, it was nice and natural and extended all the way down into the lower frequencies. Again, Golden Ear rates these non-anechoic at 29 hertz. And I gave them a little bit of a hard time because I know you audioholics would too. What's with the non-anechoic response? These are in-room responses. They may not be able to be reproduced. And they said, that's it exactly. People are listening to these in real rooms. And even if we gave them an anechoic response, it doesn't mean that's exactly what their room's going to sound like. And so what they gave you was sort of a typical window you should be able to expect out of a, a standard residential listening space. 
and I found that to be true in my listening. I found that out of stereo listening with no subwoofer that you're going to be able to do just fine with a pair of Triton 7s for music. Now for movies, maybe you want to throw a couple Golden Ear subwoofers on top of it, but in a pinch, these speakers do dig low enough that you could go down to the lower frequencies in your movies, still have a little something present even if it's not slamming you in the chest, and get plenty of enjoyment out of it. Overall, with the Triton 7s, I was really impressed with the sound of these speakers. Now, they are entering at a really high competition price point. Remember, that $500, $600 speaker tower is going to get really busy from some Internet Direct folks, some big names that you've heard of. And so, Golden Ear has kind of had a, a little bit of a toehold in that space for a while. We'll see if these new offerings do anything to cause Golden Ear to shake their game up. But I would say that Golden Ear definitely has a competitive product at that price range. Now, one thing that may hold some folks back, because it's sure not going to be the sound. The sound is good. The appearance though, I know it's distinct, I know it's golden ear, I actually don't mind it. I think the sort of nondescript all black appearance, it's very modern, I've got that IKEA aesthetic myself, I've got the IKEA furniture behind me, I'm sitting on IKEA furniture. I think it matches very well with at least my personal aesthetic. But I had some other folks give me their opinions as well, I had some visitors to the house, and everybody that came in I said, hey, what do you think of the speakers? Well, some people didn't even recognize them as speakers because you used to see in the little circles your drivers, and so they looked at that and they said, oh, those are, those are speakers. Some folks thought they looked very modern, they looked like skyscrapers. Other folks were wondering you know, how they would fit in with a lot of different styles. I think that that's one of the nice things about black. Black goes with everything. But for some folks out there, they may have mixed opinions on the appearance. That said, appearance is always a matter of taste, so you're just going to have to take a look at the golden ears for yourself and decide what you feel about that. While you're using your eyes, you should also use your ears because once again, the sound of these speakers is what really drives their product home. It's what's gotten them all the great accolades. It's what really has tuned people into the brand. And you are doing yourself a disservice if you're out there shopping for speakers and not putting your ears on with some golden ears while you're doing it. Make sure you tune in to our Audioholics YouTube channel. You can subscribe there and I recommend that you do to make sure you're getting all the videos. You should also check us out at audioholics.com and of course Facebook. We're throwing up a couple posts every day. Just cool stuff that we're seeing all the way up to full reviews we make sure are linked up there. Until then, do keep listening.